Hey guys, Carlos here again with uh, more of a beard this time. Um, uh, I'm on my way to a uh, friend's house to diagnose her air conditioning. It's on a uh, Hyundai Sonata. Um, we live in Miami, Florida, so it gets really, really, really hot here in the summers, as many of you already know. Um, however, because it gets so hot, a lot of times these air conditionings just on, on cars struggle to keep uh, passengers cool. And uh, the truth of the matter is, is that a lot of times there's actually nothing wrong with the system. It's just not performing as well because of the heat. So um, I think I'm going to find myself in a similar situation now. But uh, I'm going to show you guys how I check the pressures and all that stuff anyway and uh hopefully there's nothing wrong with the car we'll see okay so here we are here's your hyundai sonata and we're gonna check the air conditioning on it just on the left of the key and got some nice little wheels on it and all right let's unlock this thing huh got one of these uh, things on. Who knows? There might actually be something wrong with this AC. Alright, let's start her up. Turn the AC on. Close this door. We're actually in the perfect situation to check this air conditioning because maybe not perfect, the humidity is high, but the sun isn't glaring out and we have these covers. So if it cools up in here pretty well now, I know it's working. Look at the weather, it's pretty ugly the humidity is definitely higher probably in the 70 80 percent um all right so ac is on temperatures all the way down on both sides recycle is on and it's not blowing cold at all so pretty much i'm inside the car now i have the ac on full blast i left the covers on the windshield so that the sun doesn't come in humidity levels are high so it might uh, struggle to get um uh, cool but um, i'm sitting here and right now it's just not cooling um i'm gonna check the pressures on it but to me there's definitely something wrong um in hot summers um, uh, it's actually pretty normal for the air conditioning to, you know, struggle a little bit, but it should still cool, especially after some time. Um, this is not cooling at all. This is blowing hot air at me. So I'm going to check the pressures and uh, see what we got. Okay, so here we are. And... Uh, got the hood open and this is one of the service ports here we got a uh, another one that's covered here okay so you have your uh, low and high pressure ports and that's where I'm going to be hooking uh, the AC gauges on without the AC gauges I won't be able to track pressure <music> the gauges here and it's important all right once you hook them up you gotta make sure you turn these knobs over Lock them in, right okay so it's probably best idea to make sure that you check the static pressure first which pretty much means the pressure 
of uh, the AC system without it running. And right now, the low side is at 90s, mid to high 90s. And the high side is right over 100. Uh, it probably goes far as saying 115-ish. Shoot, might even be 120. Yeah, it's like 120-ish. Okay, so um, a little high, but like I said, humidity is pretty high today. So um, let's just see how it's running now. Let's go start this guy up. So pretty much I have the uh, AC running now and I check the pressures and it just doesn't look like there's any pressure difference. On the high side it's supposed to jump up to about 300 psi and on the low side it should drop down to I'd say around uh, 40s or 50s at least with this type of humidity that we have here today. Um, uh, maybe even higher. Right now it's not even getting to 70s so there's no pressure differential. There's no drop in pressure on the low side and no increase on the high side so that leads me to believe it's either the compressor that's not supplying the pressure or that the thermal expansion valve just isn't doing its job okay, so here we are. I'm give you guys a close-up view of the gauges that way we can see exactly how they're behaving as I accelerate the car see the low side dropping a bit I'm only going to 2000 rpm and you can definitely see the pressures changing and wow it's cooling a lot better in here now Ooh, that feels nice. it could very well be a compressor very well be it it starts to drop again I think we have a weak compressor all right so now we accelerated the car and as you can see the low side decided to drop down and the high side was climbing um, uh, by increasing the revolutions of the engine it makes us spin the compressor just that much more and uh, so the pressure increases on the high side, making it have to drop on the low side. That kind of tells me that the thermal expansion valve is doing its job because if it was just stuck open, no matter how much I would accelerate the car or anything, the pressure differential just wouldn't happen because that's the thermal expansion valve's actual job. So now I'm leaning more towards the compressor than the actual thermal expansion valve. However, what I'll probably end up doing um, uh, it's just changing both because the thermal expansion valve is actually very easy to get to and if the compressor actually fell apart from the inside it might be recommended to replace the thermal expansion valve the dryer uh, receiver and the compressor all at once so um, that's probably what I end up doing 
Um, for right now, that's what we got on this car. Um, this is a 2013 Hyundai Sonata with an AC cooling issue. And uh, pressures check out perfectly. Compressors not providing the sufficient pressure it needs uh, to create a nice cooling environment, right? So we'll get to the customer, let her know what I found, and we'll go from there.